there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. Now Wilson. He finds his man, Baldwin. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down to throw is Wilson. Baldwin with it over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A really good pickup of 28 yards. I don't care how many times you tell the story, it never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin, undrafted, out of Stanford, and plays. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by Anthony Brown. The 40, 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field they play on defense. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. You got to remember that now. Come on. Come on. Fine. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football. bit better make some better decisions on this drive and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in but they told him and they told us they've got confidence that, that's not a problem yeah not a problem at all they just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest back to the air wilson after the pick six Forced out to his left. Oh, and got his man complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Give him 30 yards there. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in.
and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. From midfield now, here's Wilson escaping the pressure right. The 20! Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he's way down into Dallas territory inside the Cowboy 15. They give him a gain of 38. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Wilson being chased out left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Randy Gregory able to drop him for a loss of four. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. They'll try to run with Carson. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. A great effort there, taking it in from a yard out. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. He lost four there, and it's third down. Well, that's just running the ball 101 because too much east-west, not enough north-south. Got to get upfield, don't you? They just kept stringing him out, stringing him out. Before he knew it, he had hit the sideline. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. <laughs> it'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Flush to his right. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They've got it first and ten following the fumble recovery. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Right. 
They start on the ground with Elliott. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it third down. Prescott from the gun. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. He'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. After the interception, here's Wilson. Buying time to his left. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Now Wilson on first down, eluding the pressure right. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Now I have to admit, partner, that I've often thought that I don't like this rule. Where the offensive player fumbles the ball, it goes out of bounds, and they get to keep it. <laughs> That's just because you're a defensive guy. That's why you don't like it. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are able to strike for six. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? But I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing, and for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense. There he goes, Amari Cooper. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper, 79 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Great corner out there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And Charles Way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing. It's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, he's got a couple more downs to play with. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. 
Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Steps away to his left. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. On second down, Wilson. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. On third down, Wilson flushed out right. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And he's got Lockett. A gain of 12 on fourth and 10. Just enough for the conversion. And defensively, an opportunity slips away. On first down, Wilson. And this is caught on the left side, Jerron Brown. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Looking to throw. Prescott, a dump off to Elliott. And he'll go down at the 28. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. On third down, Elliott. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It's a five-yard pickup, but spotted a few chain links short of the first. So a little bit of decision time here coming up on fourth down. Now on fourth and inches, they're going to want to talk this over. We get a timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Bradley McDougal that time able to knock it away. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Jaron Brown, the intended target. And now it's second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Here's Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 24. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. So now two pick sixes that he's thrown in this first half of play. Where do you go from here? Well, number one, make sure you keep your poise. Make sure you go to the sideline after throwing this second one and you look like you're still in charge, that you're still the guy because your team's going to feed off of you. And if you're having your hands on your head or shaking your head, walking with your head down, guess what? They're not going to rally at all. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break.
The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he's got room. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 63 yards. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on the second half, no matter what, whether it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. On the return, the All-Pro two years ago, Tyler Lockett. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. On first down, Wilson escaping the pressure right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Randy Gregory in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon and the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack it's second and 20. Wilson and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today picked up by the linebacker Jalen Smith and the return stops at the 39 yard line all right Brandon normally when you hear about guys making two interceptions in the game you're thinking must be a free safety maybe a corner how about getting two picks out of one of your linebackers? Again, he's just in the right place at the right time. And that's another great play to come away with the football. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. The give is to Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And now running right through him. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Back-to-back -back good plays, have them on the move on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down to the 31. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Let's go, let's 
Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Four down, four down. On third down, that's Elliott. And they're working inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. here losing yardage to the 14 it's a loss of a yard there and now second down I know when I was a kid I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs but the best backs that made it happen they put a foot in the ground and just go that didn't happen there that play got swallowed up now Elliott and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line Couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Again, it's Elliott. So quick on the spin. He's spinning, man. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? And out now come the Seahawks. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Call it a gain of three. And it'll be a second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. 14, 14. On second down, here's Wilson. Dancing to his left. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball.